Hi there and welcome back. It is Thursday, November 2nd. Uh, Thursday afternoons are a little bit different in this house. My daughter after school has drama club that she attends in her school and I pick her up and I take her to her Thursday, just once a week, uh, after school library program. The last couple of weeks I've been taking taking some time instead of running home in the 90 minutes that Leah is in her library program. Uh, I've been staying at the library and I, I love our, our library is gorgeous. Our town just built it a couple years ago. It's a beautiful state of the art, very comfortable building. I love it. I don't often have the time to just sit there and relax <laughs> for 90 minutes. So um, the past couple of weeks I've been taking all of my personal correspondence with me and in my case it's all of my pen pal letters. Yay! Um, and I will uh, take the time, I'll sit down for 90 minutes and I'll, I'll read letters and I'll write letters and I'll get caught up. Um, so I have all the letters that I have to read and I've tucked them in between a card that I've made for that particular friend to write that response. So basically I just need to grab a pen and toss this in my purse and I am ready to go to the library. I, well, not quite. <laughs> I don't have to go to the library for another two hours, but or pick my daughter up for another two hours to go to the the library. But I'm then I'm pretty much ready to go, and it's been working out, and I love it, and I love having a designated time to dedicate to my friends and my pen pals because they mean so much to me, and um, it's something that I enjoy <clears throat> very much. I have about a dozen pen pals all over the world. I've never actually counted them all up but some of them you know I might only hear from once every three or four months um, maybe they're in uh, international pen pals and it, it's just a mail issue and it's also it's pretty pricey to buy international stamps so I do uh, I do have to take it a little bit easy myself <laughs> um, I think it's a dollar fifteen right now uh, for an international first class stamp for us from uh, USPS uh, and it does add up, uh, you know, if you have half a dozen pen pals, if you're writing to them every week, it certainly adds up. So I think I only have one um, international pen pal, my, my German pen pal, um, who I probably write to every week. And then everybody else is maybe once a month, every other month, or every couple of months. <clears throat> and then, of course, there's my, uh, my U.S. pen pals, which there are more, and I, most of them, it's every couple of weeks. Yeah, maybe every two or three weeks. Uh, anyway, so why are my Harry Potter books out? Oh, I have been working on my sister's wedding invitations. And um, let me get, they are hiding in between these books here <laughs> uh, because I had them going through the cuddle bug this morning, or some of them anyway. It's a lot of hard work on my arm. I dislocated my left shoulder a little over two years ago. And I never quite regained all that strength. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting um, getting the dyes through. Because I have to run them through six or eight times just to get the, this to cut. I really need to upgrade my cuddle bug, I think. <laughs> Maybe for Christmas. I'm moving on. Uh, so it's, it's just exhausting. So I was able to cut six cards this morning. I did the text for um, a few dozen cards which is printed um, and then I've heat embossed uh, on the top here. This is an Inka Dinka Do stamp that I've gold heat embossed. <clears throat> so I've got a whole stack of those ready to go but the the outer part um, I'm having I'm struggling with so I can probably only do a few of those. Uh, I got half a dozen out today hopefully I can consistently do half a dozen a day until I'm done. So they've they got a little beat up going through my cuddle bug so I have them resting in between my Harry Potter books because they're the heaviest books that I have out right now. I have a lot more books <laughs> that are a lot heavier, uh, but these are the only ones that I happen to be able to access. Um, so this is the the invite. This is that Crafter's Companion uh, Die Zire die in Florence on the side. And then here's the insert, the text that I've glued to the inside. <clears throat> I'm going to make uh, a vellum band around this and I'll probably gold heat emboss the vellum band as well. And then of course I still have to make the RSVP cards that we'll get. Um, I'll slide them in here and I do have um, the envelopes, uh, the five and a half by five and a half or the envelopes are five and three quarter by five and three quarter white 
square envelopes, which I do not have enough. And I just noticed this morning that I wouldn't have enough to provide them with my sister. So I've just placed an order for them this morning. So they should be here by the time I'm done with everything else. And I'm going to take one of the stamps from this same collection and heat emboss a little gold uh, swirly or whatever <laughs> on the envelopes as well, just to tie everything together. Uh, a nice cohesive collection. But in the meanwhile, I am getting a kick out of our choice of books. My sister is also a reader and also loves Harry Potter. So I took a, a photograph of this earlier and I sent it to her and I said, this is how I'm blessing your marriage. I have your invitations resting in between the holiest of tomes, the holiest of volumes. And that, that is how I am blessing your wedding. So <laughs> I just thought it was really cute to think of it that way. My little, my Harry Potter, Harry Potter loving sister. So her invites are, are resting here with Harry uh, and hopefully getting getting flattened out a little bit. And they've been in here for a few hours and they're already looking a lot better than they were than they were this morning after they came out of the cuddle bug. They were really pretty beaten up. I'm not sure what uh, what why it's doing that with that particular dye. It's sort of crimping, not crimping, but causing a little wave in the edges. So I have um, just a very quick haul. I mentioned in my last video, and these will be uploaded out of order, my last video, um, <clears throat> two videos I shot yesterday were my Michael's and Joanne's Halloween haul and my mail opening. Um, <clears throat> and I purposely uploaded those before some of the older videos that I filmed last week and the week before, just because I wanted to get up my Halloween Clarence haul in case anybody, um, wanted to try to price match some deals for Michael's before all of the Halloween stuff is gone. So, um, so this is coming, this is the day after that. I had mentioned in the mail, um, the mail unboxing video that I was missing a package. I did find it yesterday. I did, it was waiting for me at the post office. So, um, so that came in. So I thought it was fitting <clears throat> that this package came. This is my, this is a little Etsy call. And it comes from a store called Only One Life Creations. And it's run by a lovely woman called Candace Scarborough. And she um, she donates all of the profits from the shop to charity. And she also has really, really great prices. Unfortunately, she's in the process of liquidating... I'm sorry, forgive my nails, they're hideous. She's in the process of liquidating her inventory because she's going to close down. <clears throat> However, because she's doing that, she runs fantastic sales at least once a week, like 50% off her already low, 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 low prices. So I'm getting, you know, stamp sets for almost nothing. Uh, it's just, it's fantastic. So I'll read off. Um, these all came from the 50% off section that she was running the week before last and I really do really do need to redo my nails they weren't this bad yesterday I'm probably just going to take the polish off and let my nails breathe for a couple of days they was whenever I have a color other than light my nails turn a funny color unless I let them breathe for a couple of days okay so the first uh four stamps come from I believe it's it's a Hampton Art stamp and it's called LOL laugh out loud clear stamps and I do love sort of the funny sarcastic kind of sentimenty stuff so they have many different ones to choose from but she Candace was out of stock uh, with all but these four <clears throat> uh, so I'll just do quickly show off now this one is a note on her um, on the packing slip, but this is this was the last one she had that I got, and I got this one for four fifty. And all of these were four fifty. So, and this one, and I think is it that one? So four fifty on this one, and this one also apparently I got the last one, and this one. Which is some nice, funny, some funny sentiments. I'll get to them eventually. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. I have a terrible, terrible habit of buying things that I don't need. So I really don't need these. 
and I have so much stuff that I haven't even opened yet, and yet I can't stop myself from, from buying. What would Dave Ramsey say? Probably not very good things. Uh, and the last thing I got this particular run is this adorable clear stamp set from Hero Arts with the mushrooms, which remind me of a friend. Um, it's just really cute. I no plans for it. I do. I have a new love and a new appreciation for Hero Arts uh, for the, for the quality of their their stuff. I per, in particular, I love their layering stamps, but everything else. So I've just been kind of picking up Hero Arts here and there when I see it. No plans to do anything with this. Um, it is kind of folly though, so maybe I'll I'll keep it out and and do something with it. So I bring all of this up. And very fitting. All of this comes from One Life Creations, and I'll link her. I'll link Candace's store down below. She also has a YouTube channel, so check it out because she'll post before her sales go live what the deal of the week is. And you can't, you just can't not buy from <laughs> from Candace. Some of her like full stamp sets will be less than three dollars. You know, two dollars something for Stampenda sets and so on and so forth. So you can't. You can't beat it. Definitely look into it. So it, it's poignant because I'm going to do some Distress Oxide inking this afternoon for you. I'm going to show you how I do my ocean um, backgrounds because I have so, a need for a few ocean cards. And my Distress Oxide inks, both sets of them, I bought from Candice. Uh, she sells the whole set, to, the whole set together, the first and the second release. She also has versions, I believe, where you can get the reinkers as well. You will not find a lower price anywhere on those. She's fantastic. I believe I got both sets probably, and I bought them separately, but I, it was probably under $90 for both sets of the Distress Oxide inks. The only downside is, is that with the second set, um, I got on the bandwagon a little bit late and it took it took her about three or four weeks to get them back in stock But whatever it was well worth it for the price Anyway, so I'm gonna do a little distress oxide inking and show you how I make my um, My ocean backgrounds I have a few ocean cards that I need to make <clears throat> Excuse me So I have just some pieces of my white cardstock. I use just the same cardstock that I use for everything else pretty much. 110 pound white smooth cardstock, cheap, perfect. So for Distress Oxid inks, I'm gonna be using Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, Broken China, and Salty Ocean. And I start at the bottom. Well, okay, I'm gonna do two of them horizontally and two of them vertically, but I'm gonna ink them all at the same time. <clears throat> pretty easy. So I start at the bottom with my darkest color, which is gonna be salty ocean and I work my way up this is my just a piece of scratch paper that came off the printer um, I can't really use it for anything else because it printed irritatingly enough some stuff on it so and I work directly on my table my desk I don't care about the desk I mean I care about the desk but the desk wipes clean I don't see the need to spend money on craft sheets. I just a nice clean baby wipe. Clean off my desk. As long as I don't get it on my fingers because it's really hard to come off. I have some lava soap but it doesn't quite, for me anyway, it doesn't quite 100% get all of the ink off my fingers and it's really irritating. <laughs> Especially if I have to go out into public today at the library and you know what inevitably happens when you are somewhere in public is you run into somebody that you're not preparing to see. <laughs> you're not prepared to see. And for me, it's usually one of the other mothers. And I already feel awkward and out of place and like I don't really belong in this town. So um, it just it's always awkward to run into another mom because you know they're judging you and I don't like judgy. I try not to like judgy. I try very, very hard Sometimes it has to be a very active thing, uh, but I try not to be judgy. I'm human. I can't help it. It still happens sometimes, but I really, really don't want to be judgy. And it makes me really uncomfortable to be around judginess. Okay, so now I'm moving on to Broken China. I'm going to do a row of that and kind of work it into the salty ocean. 
I just I love this combination of these the blues with kind of like the, the blue greens into the greens I don't actually like to go into any water almost ever unless it's heated like a like a jacuzzi tub or something so I'm not really sure where my love of ocean and water comes from I'm gonna be making um, a fishy scene card for one of my pen pals with these <clears throat> and also I'm gonna make another card from uh, the Dana stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I actually have um, another Lawn Fawn set that I just kind of found I forget what it's, I'm trying to remember what it's called, but it's it's got a fish tank and stuff, and I've never actually, I don't really even know why I have it, but I like some of the components that go with it, so I think I'm going to use some of those to make kind of like an oceany, a nice oceany scene. Now moving on to peacock feathers. There are lots and lots and lots of different ways to make an ocean background. This is just how I do mine. I like the progression of dark to light, sort of a nice ombre. Yeah, it's turning out nice and ombre. And I'm not putting too much effort into making the lines match up. I don't really care. And I'm actually going to sprinkle some water, some water droplets on this. I have my Ranger Mister next to me here which does not by the way it just doesn't work super well so I'm thinking about trying not right now because I don't have it accessible but trying my uh, the spray bottle that I have my daughter's uh, my daughter uses for her cats when they're naughty it just seems like it would work a lot better so Does this one gets clogged and if it's not completely full it doesn't work? I don't know if it's just malfunctioning or or whatnot, but often I have to physically pull it back up to get it to prime again. These are coming along. This is going a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. I think I'm not I don't need any yet, but I think I'm probably maybe a week or two away from making some galaxy backgrounds as well. That's the other thing that I love making. And my husband loves galaxy backgrounds too. Oh my goodness, some of my uh, my Velcro piece came off. It's irritating. And at last, cracked pistachio. Beautiful color. Beautiful green color. I'm going really heavy-handed with this stuff. I love the oxide ink. It's, you can see, I mean, I'm sure you can tell that I do not have any genuine skill <laughs> or talent with inking, um, but just by putting another layer on there, it very smoothly blends in, and I just, I love it. Love the colors. I love doing a, a rainbow pattern with a distress oxide as well. I have an idea. I'm kind of um, working on my designs for my Valentine's 2018 collection. And I have an idea to do kind of a an adult unicorn rainbowy um, Valentine's Day card this year. And I'm like, oh, so, you know, another excuse to make, to make a rainbow ombre with my distress oxide inks. Almost done. This is going pretty well. I probably put too much pressure on these blenders and the foam because my foam, I don't know if it happens to anybody else, but my foam, my foam disintegrates after probably a couple months of use. It just, it starts to fall apart. 
I don't know if that's just me. But I also, if I do, if I'm making, you know, four of them's not that bad, but when I'm doing like a dozen backgrounds for Ocean or Galaxy or whatnot, um, I'll get blisters on my fingers from holding the, the blender. So I, I suspect that I'm holding them too roughly. <laughs> I'm being unnecessarily rough. Yeah, there's another piece of foam. Hopefully having this piece of scratch paper underneath my left hand will mean that I'm not quite as stained as I do. Hopefully don't have time this afternoon to shower <laughs> and scrape everything off. I'm going to wash my hair today if I don't have to. Tomorrow's hair washing day. I've been trying to counteract some hair damage from being um, heavily over dyed most of my most of my adult life. My hair by just washing it once every other day instead of every day. So that's it. And I'm just going to take an unscented baby wipe and Desk is clean, no need for expensive craft mats. And I'll save that for another time. So there we go. That is, I just made four ombre ocean backgrounds using the Distress Oxide inks. I love them. Um, you know, I've not cracked out my actual Distress inks. I have all the cubes in a while because I've been so into the Distress Oxide. So I think... I'm probably going to force myself to do a project with them soon. I do love that there's more um, colors available. And I have done, in the past, I've done some watercoloring with them. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a Distress Ink watercolor uh, project soon. So the only other thing that I wanted to do was to sprinkle a little water. And kind of let it sit. I don't, I'm just doing a little bit of water, not really enough to warrant cracking out the watercolor paper. Just missing it. I'm not really thoroughly soaking. I am not going to bother heat setting this because I don't need to. I have to get up and and do some stuff that doesn't involve needing the desk space or needing this dry pretty quick. So I'm probably just going to let these dry naturally right here. And I'm going to go start my dishwasher and change over a load of laundry and um, probably vacuum out the rabbit's cage. <laughs> uh, just to do a few, a few chores before I take off to go get my daughter and then spend the rest of the afternoon at the library and then come home and make dinner. I hope that this uh, gave you some ideas, especially if you're kind of new with Distress Oxide inks or maybe not very good at them like me. As you can see, even I was able to to blend them to make something nice. And I'll show off my completed projects, um, my ocean cards, a little bit later when I actually work on them, which probably won't be till tomorrow. I'm going to let these dry. Uh, thanks and take care. Have a great day.